Let's be honest, some of us have a hard time embracing that we're aging. Today's video is brought to you by Why Style Matters, the mindset of dressing well and how it impacts your life. This is not your ordinary book on style. It's broken into three parts, memoir, mindset, and mechanics. It takes you on a journey of discovery, philosophy, and interpretation of what style is and its influences. It's filled with cultural and social impact of how the world sees you. The link is in the description. Get your copy today. On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 style mistakes that older men make. Let's go. What's up, fellas? It's your boy, it's time to style jumper, your guide to personal style. If you're new to the channel, we release videos. We discuss topics like style, confidence, and etiquette. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we release our next video. Clothes are too big or too long. So guys, clothes can swallow you up. And if you decide to still wear those clothes that are too big or too long, it's gonna either make you look very old, like you lost a ton of weight, or just sloppy and we don't want either. Here's a solution for you. Make sure that you transition and go shopping. I know, I know it's frustrating to make that investment over the years, but look, you're gonna look a lot better without those big clothes. Strategy. Here's something that will make you really look old if you're not aware of the environment that you're going to and what to wear in the environment. So here's a solution. Consider doing some research, go online, check out and see what people have been wearing at this event or occasion so that you're not looking like a space cadet or something, that you're wearing the appropriate things and you don't look crazy. Trendy. Look, fellas, trends are cool, but it's one thing to understand what's trendy, but also to really understand how do you maximize or see what's trendy and incorporate it in your look. So here's the thing. We want to educate, not assimilate to the young folks. Let's just show them how to do it. Outdated athletic gear. Guys, you gotta give up the Rocky sweats and the oversized track suits. Now we all grew up watching Rocky and we loved it, but hey, gotta switch it up a little bit. So what you can do is go for a slimmer silhouette, not too tight, we don't wanna see you Johnson, but at the same time, slim it down a little bit. It's gonna look good on you. And I promise you, you won't regret it. Wearing athletic sneakers. There's something to say about athletic sneakers, right? It's a proper place to wear them. I mean, unless you're hooping or you're going to a sporting event, that's where you'd wear those athletic shoes. And we all know Steve Jobs actually was the person who brought it back into play to make it cool for the young folks. And that became the trend of chunky sneakers. So here's what I would suggest. I would suggest you make that transition from those athletic sneakers to a minimalist sneaker that can be a suede or a solid. There's also an option for a slim silhouette. Think about a neutral or solid color, and it'll carry on in multiple styles and multiple clothes. Wearing jerseys in sporting event gear. Look guys, unless you're going to the sports bar or a game, there's no reason for you to actually wear that gear outside of those events. Yes, it's nostalgia. You probably, you know, went to the games with your dad or that you love your favorite team, or maybe you're betting on your team, but that's not the way to go outside of going to the sports bar. What you can do as a solution is, how about maybe thinking about solid colors, maybe the team colors, and then that'll give you an option to still feel good about it, but not look like you're four years old and you're going to the game with your dad. You can also transition to a well-fitted polo or solid tees, again, fit is king. Grooming properly, guys. <laughs> you don't wanna be walking around looking like a Sasquatch. You know, we, definitely start growing hair all over the place, except for where we want it to grow, right? Grooming is important. Do a weekly audit. Hey, is my nose hairs growing? Do I have hair growing out of my ears, on my back, and wherever else it's growing? Don't be afraid to ask your significant other. You can't see all those spots. Outdated jeans. Sometimes we, you know, because we've invested so much money in our clothes, we don't want to make that investment upgrade when it comes to our jeans and things of that nature. So a dead giveaway that you look old and a mistake is your jeans may have some type of wash on it or rips and tears. Dead giveaway. 
So what you wanna do as an alternative is think about solid color, a dark wash. You wanna think about raw denim or dark denim. As an alternative, there's other colors as well, of variations of blue, but I would say stray away from all the different crazy washes because it'll date you and it doesn't give you that opportunity to have a longer lasting look. And also you wanna make sure it fits you well. Not too wide and not too long. Going gray and bald. The statistics show that there's about 60% of us will begin to lose our hair. Hey man, if you're losing your hair, obviously there's a ton of options out there for those who want to hold on to it. But if you are seeing that your hairline is going way back, go ahead and shave it off. What do you have to lose? It's your head. Shave it off and the same thing with gray. Now, the thing with going gray, I like the look, you know, it, and I think that it will look good on you because when you put dye in your hair, it's a dead giveaway. And it's a huge mistake because she knows, he knows, we know. Everyone knows. Go ahead and embrace where you are and I promise you, you look good in the process. It's one of the things that I embraced early on and I feel great about it because I've made the decision, I moved on and I've embraced who I am today. Hype beast hoodies and tees. What that means is, are you wearing shirts and hoodies with these big logos on it? Yeah, it's cool when you were when you're young in the 90s. Yeah, that's right, we were young in the 90s. And it's a dead giveaway again that we're too old and it's a mistake. So what you wanna do, go with those minimalist looks. Go with, you know, a slim fit hoodie or tee. Go with solid colors. It gives you a lot of variety and a flexibility. And again, you can play around with the colors just to show that, hey, I have some versatility and you don't have to give up on being cool. Baseball caps. The baseball cap is important for obviously cover, but the environment and the occasion, right? So going out of the house, and if you're not going to a sporting event and you're wearing some branded logo on your hat, may not be the right option. Here's what I suggest. We're like an aged glass of whiskey, you know? So what you can do is go with a fedora, a flat cap, and even what I actually love and I've incorporated is dad caps. They're simple, there's a lot of color variation, and it's flexible. And you still get the coverage that you're looking for. Today's cheat code. Guys, I know there's a lot of options when it comes to shirts, but one of the best kept secrets is a solid white shirt. It's ultra neutral, it gives you so much flexibility and variety, and you can dress it up or down. White shirts are the way to go. If you want to see what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis, check out my Instagram. There you'll find a ton of looks or maybe some inspiration. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comments below. And if you like this content, fellas, share it with your stylish friends. And remember, when you leave home today, walk out with style, confidence, and etiquette. And fellas, look, hey, age, it is what it is. As long as you keep living, we will age. But it's all about embracing who you are and really, really loving who you are. And I'll see you on the next one. For more style tips, check out this next video.